I don't drink anymore. I don't drink any less. Hey folks, here we are. And we got this, and you can tell I've been waiting for a while because it's starting to defrost. I should, I should keep one, like, I don't know. But I got this better one here. Um, this is a, a Great Lakes Alberta Clipper Porter, product of the USA, handcrafted ale with chocolate and raspberries, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, a chocolate beer again. Bid farewell to winter's cruel tyranny with a creamy, bittersweet, dark chocolate flavors and fresh raspberry tartness of Alberta Clipper Porter. Named for the intense winter storms that swept the Midwest and Great Lakes regions, making all a little tougher and a lot colder, Alberta Clipper. This is the perfect treat to celebrate the return of milder weather and kiss those wintry winds goodbye, at least for a while. 7.8%. Woo! It's a little bit. Alberta Clippers Porter's flavor forecast reveals swirls of bittersweet cocoa and gusts of tart raspberries. You know what? Why, do, why does raspberry has a P in there? Nobody says raspberries. It's just stupid. Anyways. Uh, so what's the outlook? A rich, full-body porter guaranteed to blow away the cold weather blues. Man, I heard cold weather like four times in that stupid reading. Just get to this beer. Oh, never fails me. All right. Alright, not as dark as the other chocolate beers I've done, and, oh, it's cold winter blowing, the label, okay, alright, he's trying, but he ain't getting no damn good, anyways, that looks, looks pretty good, I can see the raspberry, no, I can, it's like a red, reddish tint to it, yeah, it smells like a, a Great Lakes beer. Hoppy. Not hoppy, but I can smell some hops in it. Can't smell the chocolate. Oh, wow. Okay, that's definite raspberry in there. It's, uh, that's not bad. It tastes like, um, what the heck? Um, what is the... I've tasted this somewhere in food, in some kind of food before. Yeah, I, I, I've tasted that in some kind of food somewhere, raspberries. I can't get the flavor when I, I have to drink it and it's be in my mouth to get that flavor. I don't want... Yeah. I tasted it somewhere, you know what? I'll be three o'clock in the damn morning and I'll figure it out. Oh, I can't figure out where I get that raspberry flavor from. It is pretty good though. I don't mind it at all. I could drink this every day. I'll give it a seven. I'll say a 7.2. Yeah. I'll give it a 7.2. It's not bad at all. I just can't place that raspberry flavor somewhere. Anyways. There's definitely, I can't taste no chocolate. I can't get the chocolate flavor. It's just overpowered by a raspberry in the first drink. And right when you swallow it, you can, you can get the sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, drink all that raspberry, yeah. I can't wait to fart. I can't wait to see what it smells like. Anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty good though. Uh, let me, let me, you know, for Great Lakes, I could taste a little bit of a, the hops getting at the end on the back of my, my tongue, on the sides of my tongue there, but it's pretty good, it's a pretty good beer, not bad at all, I'm surprised, I don't know if they're going to sell this all year, probably not, because it, you know, Clipper Port or whatever, <clears throat> yeah, uh, but it's pretty good, yeah, give it a, like I said, 7.2, yeah, a try um, and remember it takes a bigger person to apologize when he 
wrong somebody than it does to make an excuse as to why not to apologize. Cheers.